Today, we make a top bar for your streams. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today we are gonna be creating a top bar just like that for your stream, and it doesn't even need to be a top bar. It can be a bottom bar if you prefer it down there. Just somewhere to put your social media handles and maybe a recent donation or a recent subscriber, something like that to just have on your stream so your viewers can see what is going on. But today I'm gonna show you how to create that very simply inside of Photoshop. It's just gonna take a couple minutes once you watch the tutorial, and then I'm even gonna take it into After Effects and show you how you can add a slight animation to it to make it look even more interesting but it is super simple and at the end of the video i'm going to show you how you can get even the one i design in today's video if you don't want to go about designing it yourself but without further ado let's jump right into the video after i let you know about placeit.net if you guys do not own after effects or photoshop or any programs and you still want to have some awesome graphics for your stream make sure you check out my link down in the description for placeit.net the smart templates on there allow you to create awesome custom graphics without owning a single program Program. And right now, the link in my description will get you 15% off if you go down there, click it, and sign up for a monthly or yearly subscription. So make sure you do that if you do not want to use After Effects, Photoshop, or anything like that. But without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Photoshop. All I've done is open up a brand new 1920 by 1080 document, the normal video size HD video that most of you are probably streaming at. So what we're gonna do now is we're just going to create our uh, bar for your stream. So the way I like to start is just grabbing the rectangle tool down here. I said that weird rectangle, the rectangle tool, and we're just gonna draw a nice little long, thin rectangle just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and make it like a dark, a dark gray kind of like that. I like dark gray for this uh, this specific design. But then I'm gonna jump over here and grab the pen tool, and we're gonna make sure that the pen tool when you come up here is on intersect shape areas. And once we do that, we're gonna hold down shift so that we get nice even straight lines and um, 45 degree angles and 90 degree angles, and we're just gonna get to drawing. So I'm gonna hold down shift, and we're gonna go ahead and click about right here. Let's cut off the corner, and as you can see, it creates a perfect 90 degree angle for us. And then we can kind of move in just like this, and then maybe cut in at another 45 degree angle. Let's go a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and Command Z that back, and then go in a little bit more, and then another straight line, and then let's go straight up, and then over and over to complete it. So there is half of the design that I want for our little bar at the top. And now to finish it off, what we can do is come over here to our layers, right click and go to duplicate layer, hit okay, and then make sure we're selected on that one and go up to edit, transform and under the drop down we're going to select flip horizontally and there we go we have created our top bar what we can do now is select both of these and we can go ahead and uh, hit rasterize the layers and then we can merge the layers and now we've got it as just one layer and it is looking incredible already we can throw it at the top of our stream just like that and there we go that is looking really cool but it's time to start filling it in with a little bit more exciting stuff so let's go ahead and draw another rectangle that's kind of like I don't know, like that size right there. And let's make this a little bit of a lighter gray, maybe like like that, that could be cool. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna grab the pen tool. We're gonna make sure we draw the exact same 45 degree angle by hitting shift. Let me do that again real quick till we come all the way down there. And then I'm gonna go straight around all the way, just kind of like that, doesn't matter. I just wanted that one 45 degree angle in there. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm just gonna drag this up here Make sure I select the layer, drag it up here, and now I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of move it into place just with the arrow keys, and just like that, I'm thinking that is looking really cool for the side over here, and what I can do now is I can just go ahead and come over here again, duplicate layer, and then I'm gonna go up to edit, once again, transform, flip horizontally, and then by holding down shift, I can move it along a straight line, just like this, and I can move it to the exact opposite side, and then just use my arrow keys to kind of nudge it into place to get it similar to where it is on the other side. So that is looking pretty good right there. I think that is where we're gonna put our donations, our recent donation and our recent subscriber, and then we can put our social media stuff in the center. So if we wanna break out the text tool, we can go ahead and type out like, Bravity M, just like that in our uh, whatever font we want. And then we can go ahead and uh, let's make this a white text layer. So once we make it white though, it's gonna disappear since we're on a white background. So we can just go ahead and grab our move tool and drag, drag it up over here so we can see what's going on. 
free transform and I'm gonna bring it down nice and small and what you can do now is you can just kind of bring in some social media like um, icons you can get them from all over the place just get some social media icons and then we can uh, import them into here by going up to file and then place embedded and once you hit place embedded it'll open up your uh, your finder or whatever and then you can pick wherever you saved some social media icons so here we've got a bunch of social icons I can choose from I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the Twitter bird just like that we'll go ahead and scale him down to fit so let's go ahead and make him a little bit smaller like that hit OK and now let's zoom in and work a little bit closer here so let's go ahead and place the Twitter bird like this and then put the brevity M right in the center it's like that Kind of move it into the center of the layer up against the Twitter bird like that. That looks pretty cool just like that. And I actually don't want the Twitter bird to be the Twitter bird, the Twitter blue. I want it to be like a cohesive and just the same color throughout the entire design. So I think I'm going to go for a bit of a red design. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the Twitter bird layer over here. We're going to add a color overlay, and that red is pretty much perfect for what I want. You can select any color up here if you want to change the uh, social media logo colors, but I like that Twitter bird being red just like that. Now we can bring in some other ones, so let's place embedded. Let's place a YouTube logo now because this is going to go on our Twitch stream, so there's no reason to... Uh, advertise Twitch on our Twitch stream, we want to advertise our YouTube channel. So we're just going to go ahead and make the YouTube logo pretty similar to the size of the Twitter bird. And once again, we can hold down shift if we want to move it along a straight line to make sure it stays at the same level as the Twitter bird. And now we've got uh, the YouTube one there. And now we need to add some text there. So I'm just going to duplicate the Bravity M text layer and hold down shift and move it straight across so it stays on the same level. And you'll see it kind of snaps into place and lets you know when you're the same distance away from the other one. So just like that is going to be perfect. I'm actually going to move it in just a little bit maybe like that and there we go now what we can do is we can go ahead and select the YouTube logo the Twitter logo and then both of my text layers and we can just kind of move it until it's nice and centered just like that if you want to add more social media icons Instagram discord anything like that you can obviously shrink down the text shrink down the logos and then you can add them in there but that's all I want to add in for just this quick little demo now we want to add in some details over here for where our uh, donations and where our um, recent subs gonna go so what I like to do for donations is I like to just grab the text layer and just type out a money sign just like that. You can't see it because it's white, but let me go ahead and drag it over here and there you can see it's just a money sign. And we're gonna go ahead and bring that and free transform that down to be nice and small, kind of like that. And there we go. And then we can place it up in this box just like that and then for the uh, recent subscriber I like to use a star so to create a star you just want to come over here to our rectangle tool and you just want to click and hold and then you want to go to the polygon tool and once you're at the polygon tool where it says sides you want to make sure that is five because there's five points or a side five sides to a star and then in the uh, settings cog right here you just want to click on that and make sure you select star and then if you hold down shift it'll give you a beautiful looking star that'll go straight up and down so let's make a nice big star just like that that. And then let's go ahead and free transform, shrink it way down, and we can bring it over here so that we know that we're shrinking it to a similar size to our money sign over here. That's pretty good. So now let's go ahead and make it at the same level as our money sign. So right about there is about the same height, just like that. And now I can hold down shift once again, move it along a straight line all the way over to this side, just like that. Then we can go back to our shape tools, change it from the black to our white that we're doing. Let's go ahead and go white just like that. And there we go. We've got a white star and the white money sign. And that is it for our little top bar there. And bring it all the way up here. So there you go. That is what it'll look like at the top of your stream. Then you'll add the uh, the scrolling recent subscriber and scrolling recent donation. All that inside of stream elements. You just want to import this in and you can add all that in there. But now if you want to take it a little bit farther and you want to animate it, we're going to take this entire Photoshop file into After Effects. And I'm going to show you a couple of quick little things you can do to make this a little bit more interesting. So you just want to delete the background here so this white background you can double click hit OK and then just delete that white background so you're on a transparent layer like you need it and then bring this Photoshop document into After Effects and we'll animate it. All right, guys, so here we are inside of After Effects. All I've done is import the Photoshop file into After Effects. And when you import a Photoshop file, it's gonna ask you how you wanna import it. And you wanna click Composition Retain Layer Sizes, and that'll create a composition for you, just like the Photoshop document. So as you can see, we've got Bravity M top bar here. And if you click on it, this is what it looks like. So it looks similar to the one that we just designed, but it is a little bit different. This is actually one of the ones that you can get down in the description to update inside of Photoshop if you wanna use this design. And I say one of them because there is multiple 
multiple, and I'll show you what I mean by that at the end of the video. But if you want to animate this, it is pretty freaking easy. So the first thing I want to show you is that if you do not want it on your stream at all times, if you wanted to periodically just like come onto the stream and kind of come down from the top, that is super easy to do. And all we want to do is just select everything except the bar. So the bar is the main box here. We want to select everything but the bar and grab this little parenting pick whip whip looking thing, the spiral, and you want to drag it to the bar. And now everything is parented to the bar. So if we keyframe and move around and animate the bar, everything sticks to it. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and drop down the bar transform properties and go to position. We're going to go ahead and zoom in and we're going to get to keyframing this to drop in. So here is what we're going to do. We're going to go to position. We're going to select the stopwatch next to it to start our keyframes. And we're going to move forward a couple frames like this. And then we're going to hit the uh, little diamond right here to create a new keyframe because that is where we want the bar to end. Where it is right now is where we want it to animate into. Then we're going to go back to the beginning by hitting this little arrow. And now we're going to keyframe this to go up just like that a basic keyframe so now if we play it you see it drops down from the top just like that and now i've covered this in many videos let's go ahead and add the keyframe interpolation by selecting both of these right clicking on them going to keyframe assistant and easy ease once you've done that make sure they're selected click on this button to go to the graph editor and then you just want to click on one of these points and you want to drag and make this kind of shape right here so it starts out fast and then slows down so if we click back into this you'll see we've now got a much nicer looking animation to where it kind of zooms in but then slows down and eases its way in so that looks really cool if you want it to come into your stream every once in a while what you can do is you can have it come in and then stay for like 10 seconds and then have it animate back out and then be blank for about 10 seconds and then put your end point there so that after 10 seconds it then loops again and will come into your stream once again. Now, if we wanna add a couple more little animations to this, what we can do is add a pretty cool light sweep effect. So if we go to the effects and we go ahead and search up light sweep, you'll see we get this effect called CC light sweep. And we're gonna grab that, we're gonna drop it onto the bar layer and you'll see it creates this little light sweep for us up at the top, just like that. And what we can do is after it animates in, we can go ahead and keyframe this center part of the light sweep. So to keyframe this, we just wanna hit the stopwatch next to the center. And then once we do that, we can go ahead and grab the light streak and you see we can move it across the bar. So we're going to start with it over here. It's going to move forward for, I don't know, maybe a couple frames just like that. And we're going to drag this all the way to the other side until it disappears. So now you'll see it might take a minute to render, but it's going to come in and then that light is going to sweep across. So this is our animation now. Looks pretty good. Comes in light sweep across. So let's go ahead and fit this to the screen. So that's what it'll look like when you're streaming up at the top, comes in, light sweeps across. That is pretty cool. And now finally, I wanna show you another animation that could be pretty interesting if you want. And it has to do with these social media logos. So you'll see this Twitter bird here is just kind of sitting static. What we can do is we can open up the Twitter bird little uh, parameters down here, hit this little uh, arrow down. We're going to go to transform and where it says rotation, we're going to hold down alt on the keyboard and we're going to click the stopwatch. And this is going to bring up this text box here in our layers where we can type out an expression. Now, it might sound like it's getting advanced, but this is a super simple impression e expression. What we're going to do is we're going to type in wiggle. So just like that, all lowercase wiggle, and we're gonna put a parenthesis, an open parenthesis, it's gonna close it for you. And we're gonna type something like, I don't know, three comma eight. So there you go. So those two numbers are referring to the frequency and the amplitude of the wiggle. So how hard and how fast it's going to wiggle. So you can mess around with the numbers however you want, but I think three and eight is going to be a great starting point. So now you'll see when it comes in, you'll notice that the bird is kind of moving around. It looks really interesting. It's just kind of like dancing around there and it adds a little bit of an exciting feel to your uh, social medias of up there so they're not so static so there you go you got it bouncing around and what we can do now is we can select rotation and we can go ahead and copy it and paste it to the youtube logo paste it to the instagram logo so now when you drop this in you'll see that all of them are kind of dancing around up here and if it's not as powerful as you want it to be if they're not moving around as you as much as you want, you can mess around with those numbers. But as you can see, everything is dancing around. So there you go. You have got an animated social media top bar that comes in, has a light sweep. The logos are kind of dancing around and it is time to put it into your stream. And the way you want to export it is you want to make sure your in and out points are set where you want. They might need to be set pretty specifically if you're doing a loop like I was talking about earlier. But once you've done that, you just want to click down here in your composition and then go up to composition and add to render Q 
Once you've added it to the render queue, you want to go to where it says lossless in blue, click that and go from AVI to QuickTime and then from RGB to RGB plus alpha. Now, once you've done that, that means you'll have a transparent background so that you can bring it into Streamlabs or Stream Elements rather. And then once you hit OK, you just want to go over to Output to Bravidium top bar. You want to click on that and you just want to name it whatever you want, save it wherever you want and then hit render. Now you can bring this into Stream Elements or you can convert it to a WebM and I highly suggest you convert it into a WebM or export WebM directly out of After Effects using a plugin. But that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy the free top bars and bottom bars that I'm going to be providing. So if we take a look back in Photoshop, you'll see that this is the top bar that I just showed you. And if you want to use that, you can get it down in the description, the Photoshop document right now and take it into After Effects and animate it how I showed you or animate it your own way or bring it into Stream Elements Static. But if you do not want the top bar and you want a bottom variant, I'm also providing that down in the description. And then if you don't want to have the recent subscriber and the recent donation. I don't prefer that. I don't like having the recent subscriber and donation on my stream. I like to keep it clean. And if you still want to have a top or bottom bar, we've got just the social media variant. So we've got the social media bottom bar, and then we've got the social media top bar with the donation and the subscriber taken out. So if you want any of these four top bars or bottom bars down in the description, you can download them right now, bring them into Photoshop, change your social medias out, animate it and bring it into stream elements or into OBS and you are done. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.